Hi everybody, it's Kristen and welcome to Drugstore December. Um, I'm really excited about this, I can't even tell you. This past week, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you, I'm very excited. This past week I've been doing a four looks, two palettes with the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone and the Wet n Wild I Heart Matte or whatever it's called in its re-release. And that I'm actually gonna put up probably tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly, but anyway. Um, but I wanted to kind of just do a little kickoff video. I wanted to give you guys an opportunity. I know so you gave me some ideas um, in my Topic Tuesday Drugstore December video. So if you have anything in specific that you want to see me do, um, go ahead and leave it below. I, you know, I'm, I don't want to do a video every single day for you guys because, I mean, really, that's a lot of videos. And I'm already, by the way, doing... 31 Days of Kristen on my vlog channel. If you're curious about that, you can go ahead and check that out. That ought to be interesting. I committed to doing that, but um, you know, I don't want to bombard you guys with, with too much. So I'm going to kind of show you in this video, I just want to show you some of the things that I picked up, tell you a few ideas, and just kind of get your feedback on um, ideas that I have and ideas that you might have. So first off, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I picked up in preparation for. I realized when I went through my blushes that I really only had Milani, um, let me actually look, Milani Wet n Wild and like one L'Oreal True Match, a couple of NYX. I didn't have a, a, a variety is what I'm saying. That I felt enough of variety. So um, I picked up a couple of the, and I've always heard Emily Noel 83 talk about these. These are the Cheekers um, blushes and this one is Brick Rose which I actually have on today so I picked that one up it's like that nice neutrally kind of I thought I might kind of do some comparisons and neutral blushes you know even to some of the high ends that I have for you guys and then the other one I picked up is, is classic pink I wish that when I was shopping I had had um, Emily with me <coughs> you know to help me choose the right ones but so that that one is classic pink right yes so I picked those up and then I picked up this and I can already tell you it I've never heard anybody talk about these there's probably a reason I thought maybe they were new the Revlon blush in Berry Rich um there's no there's nothing to this no pigment so it looks pretty, like it looks kind of neutrally, but I mean, I am telling you, <laughs> that's me rubbing the bejesus out of it. And then <laughs> I'm going to try to do it again. Like this is me three times. So, fail. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> and, okay, so then I picked, uh, I was looking for... I have a real issue with um, drugstores not having matte transition colors. I tried to find like a single, so I, I picked up one from NYX that I showed you guys in a haul before. And that one, it's it's okay, but it's not the right color, not, not what I want for color wise. So I grabbed this, I'm trying to open it here, should be more prepared. This um, Maybelline Chic Naturals. And I think that's actually the, oh, 70D brown tones. I thought that this kind of looked a little bit like wedge. So let's see. Oh, there's decent pigmentation to it. And then this other one is just kind of a bonus taupey-ish color. Far be it for me to turn down a taupe. <clears throat> so you're not going to be able to see the transition color, which is actually good. That's the darker of the two, and then that's the, the color I'm hoping to use as transition. So, play with that a little bit. And then I also picked up a matte color from CoverGirl in Brown Smolder 740. So it, it's a single. It looks like this. That's the color. It's kind of a cool brown. Not the best pigmentation ever. Hmm. All kinds of disappointment. <laughs> I know there's good drugstore stuff out there, so this is kind of sad. Okay, well, I tried to build it up a little bit. but Well, that's a little disappointing. Um, okay, you know, I'm all about giving you my real reaction. So I picked up in preparation for 
um, doing the I Heart Drugstore tag video because I wanted to have it to show my favorite drugstore mascara. So there's a little preview for you. It won't be a big excitement. So this is the Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara from CoverGirl. And then one of the things I talked about um, doing was kind of a battle of the eyeliners or whatever. I went through my eyeliners. I have like Milani and like one CoverGirl one. <laughs> and that's it. So I picked up a Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in um, brown, 203 brown. I picked up, and I've heard people talk about this before, the Maybelline Master Drama Eye Studio in Midnight Master. And then the Revlon Color Stay in black. I thought I might kind of do a battle of the black eyeliners with Milani and the, um, it's the Milani Liquify and then these two, something like that. So we shall see. And then the last thing I picked up is this lipstick, which I'm wearing today, and this is the Kate Moss Rimmel Collection, and it's in 08. Just a really nice Kristen color. It might be a dupe for something in my collection. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, so that is the things that I purchased. And then I just wanted to run down quickly the foundations that I'm going to work on and then review for you this month. Um... I suppose you could tell me if you don't want to see any of them. You, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. So the Revlon Color Stay is one I've been using this week in normal to dry skin. I actually did not buy any foundations. I had enough that I felt like I hadn't ever talked about. So um, <clears throat> the L'Oreal True Match. This I have talked about before, but I pulled it out anyway. Rimmel Lasting Finish. I love this. Actually, there's not that much in there. Um, and the Elme TLC Truly Lasting Color. Um, those are the, oh, that's not all. And then I had two cream foundations. Another one from All May and, a, and the Truly Lasting Finish in Cream. And then this CoverGirl, which preview, love. Um, okay, so that's kind of a rundown to some of the some of the things that I'm going to be doing. Obviously, there will be more. But again, I'm curious what you guys want to see. And I get I did get some ideas from that video, but go ahead and lay on me. I'm just so excited. I felt like I needed a kickoff video. And why not have a little bit of a haul thrown in there? So here we go, everyone. Oh, and if you, any of you that happen to do videos want to do Drugstore December with me, feel free. Jump on board. I think it would be fun, especially in December when we should be you know, thinking about other people instead of ourselves. And you don't have to go buy anything. I mean, I as you can see, I only bought a few things. And I did buy them all when they were buy one, get one 50% off the Saturday after um, Black Friday. So if you guys want to do it, go ahead and jump on board and do it with me. I think it would be a lot of fun. So hope that you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.